What is up, you guys? It is your boy, John, here from Poom Plow. Welcome back to another Farming Simulator 19. Of course, guys, we're back on the Millennial Farmer map here on Farm Sim 19. And uh, got some got some stuff going on on the map today, or about to get some stuff going on on the map today, that is. And it should be pretty, pretty awesome. Where's that tractor I want? Oh, there it is. Like, I, I know there's a tractor out here somewhere. I just got to find it. So, big news, big shout out to everybody leaving comments in the last video. I appreciate that. Um, the big news, of course, is the announcement of Farm Sim 22. Coming out in the fourth quarter of uh, 21 here. It'd be pretty awesome, not going to lie. But, uh, yeah, I'm sure everybody's already made videos and beat that dead horse. Um, I'm excited for it. Cautiously optimistic, I think, is what I am. Um... They mentioned some of the optimi optimization stuff, and that is very exciting to me because that's something I've been calling for for a long time. Optimization is a big thing for me, so hopefully, hopefully they nail that. Um, as far as the John Deere tractors, yes. The let's go into here real fast. The tractor that you guys are talking about, I believe, is hang on, wait for it. This one right here. The 9R. My bad. I messed up 9R and 9RX. Because, of course, the 9RX is the tracked version. 9R is the wheeled version. Okay. I, I messed that one up completely. Uh, a couple of videos, I guess, last week or whatever it was. Um, definitely. I will... Basically, my, my thought process for this map is if it's green, we need it. Okay. If it's green, we need it. So, like, hey, well, why not? We will be getting other green equipment as well. Now, I know it's, like, late autumn here, fall, but I'm still going to plant. I don't know if I should run seasons, but I'm going to. So, uh, yellow. Um, let's see. We're going to plant corn again. Well, actually, no. Hang on. We might not plant corn. Hang on. Let me come into here. Let's look at... I don't know if we can get through winter and if we could harvest by, say, the third day of spring. Because if we don't sell then, we don't sell that second, third day, whatever, somewhere right in there. Because I feel like it's usually the day before the highest day. But anyway, um, if we don't sell then, then we can't sell again for another year. YOLO. We're going to risk it. I probably shouldn't, but I'm, I'm willing to risk it for the biscuit, you know, kind of thing. So... Let's get that going. I want to show you guys at least, you know, starting planting here, you know. Um, okay, cedar, what are we doing back there? I don't think it likes that hill. Um, of course, the field has been fertilized twice. It has been all cultivated, and we're good to go. So we are ready to plant, and then we'll do our third uh, fertilization state once we get going here. Um, somebody mentioned, and I'm, I'm terrible with names, so I apologize. Somebody mentioned a let's play with Sarge and I, and that would be interesting. You know, that would be, that would be very interesting. Uh, but basically if you want to see a let's play with Sarge and I, you need to tune into the day streams Tuesday at noon central and Thursdays at noon central, pretty much on those day streams. It's been Sarge and I, and occasionally somebody else will come join us. But for the most part, it's just been Sarge and I kind of hanging out on there. Uh, of course, when he's available, you know, he does have a life and has, has, you know, responsibilities and stuff to do, but when he's available, he, uh, he's definitely hanging out and we're doing some farming on, um, Griffin, Indiana. So if you guys are wondering where you can find those videos, they're all in the other YouTube channel. Uh, links in the description should take you over to the other channel. And, uh, pretty much the day streams have been Sarge and I hanging out, gaming, playing farm sim, and it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun. I, I enjoy uh spending time with sarge and really all the guys you know we have i have a really good group and my neighbor just by, went by with the loudest truck ever uh, i got a really good like core group that that arms with me you know and if they're available they're there if not you know it's all good uh on the weekends we tend to get some more people in there of course but uh yeah it's just a good time so if you guys are interested in and in seeing like the multiplayer side i we do it on twitch we do, you know, so definitely check that out. All right, so we got our seating going. Um, I believe I was looking. Whoa, hello. 
How's it going? Uh, I was looking in the missions. That's what I was trying to scroll up for. And fertilize field 12. We can go ahead and take that. I believe I can do 12. 12. 12. Where's 12? right there. Yeah, I can do field 12. That's a, that's a, that's a no-brainer. Okay. We will auto-drive him to uh, field 12. That's what we need to do. And auto-drive him there. I maybe. I could, you know, pay attention to where I'm looking in auto drive. Uh, so we'll auto drive him there. He'll get there in a minute. And then the other thing that I have been talking about doing, and I, I mentioned it in the last video, this field 10 mission is seems it's going to take me forever. And I realize that, but I kind of want to do it anyway. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to borrow the equipment. Of course, I'm not going to make as much money, but that's a 70. Oh my God. That's a 73 acre field. And I just, I really just, I don't know why. I just want to do it. So a little leg spike there. And we should probably go to the shop and uh, check out the goodies. Now, of course, you know, ooh, ooh, a lot of red. Oh, I don't know about this. I don't know about all this red, boys. This is kind of, at least they gave us a greenish tractor, you know? <laughs> As you know, the theory is if it's red, we need it. So, not a, not a green. Wait, these are the moors that we can mount up. Yeah. These are the moors that you can mount all together. So, we are going to be heading, it looks like, which is fine. I didn't really look at the mission. I mean, I should have, but no. So, I realize this is going to take hours. This mission is going to take for absolutely ever. But really okay i don't mind i've been looking for something to kind of just kill time with on this map in a weird way uh, if that makes sense uh that is field 10 so we want to go ahead and select field 10 and we've got see okay leonard has, actually explained this to me the other day he's got two to three per field uh because if you harvest on that other mode where it does like round and round pipe out and then moves over and round and round pipe out and move over and round and round pipe out this is set up for that. So that way there's more spots for the auger wagon to actually like go to a truck. That makes sense. What are we doing here, buddy? Okay. So, okay. So we need to bail it. Oh, we can't get through there. Cause that, that truck's in the way. That truck's in the way. We need to move said truck. So sprayer can get through. Forgot about that. We need to mow it and it, rake it and bail it. And of course, I'm going to use horseplay for a lot of that. Might pick up the bells myself. I could use horseplay. I'm not sure about the sell point right now. So that's the only thing that has me kind of nervous about doing this mission is the sell point. But shouldn't be a big deal. We will figure it out. I don't know if it's... I don't know if it's marked on... I don't know if Leonard has that one on. He might have that on auto drive. I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to guess probably not because that one, I think you actually have to back into it. Yeah, so that's fine. We'll figure it out. We can always add. We can, we can always add if it's something that we could, uh, that actually could be like added. We can always do that. All right. Oh, did not mean to do that. Oh, that, that click thing. Sometimes it kind of gets you. There we go. Oh, no. no. Oh, no, no, drive to the shop. Thank you. Okay, you're going to go turn out in the field. All that good stuff. That's fine. Okay, so... Where did our sprayer end up? Oh, there he is. Where's he going? Field 12. Should be... Okay, he's looping back. I was like, where is he? Okay, so now we stop using auto drive. We bring up horse play. Start unfolding because we need to do that. Field 12. Go around it twice. Why not? Okay, he's, got, he's way over there now. Okay. <laughs> he will get there eventually, I swear. I started him facing probably or connected to like the wrong line, the, the John Deere. That's why he's going kind of wherever he wants to go right now. But he will get where he needs to go eventually. He will. 
He'll figure out his life eventually. Should possibly put in a turnaround here. That would work. I don't have to turn around. Oh, I was looking at the wrong guy. That guy's seating. Uh, this dude here. He's kind of out turned around. Uh, where's that other tractor at by now? Other tractor? Field 10. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. I missed you so. Seems like it's been forever. <laughs> I was really confused at where he was. Oh, man. Okay, so we'll get this down here. A little, road, a little road construction here. A little drainage project, maybe. On a dirt road. Yep. <laughs> Seems legit, right? Probably have this dude do the mowing for us, and then we'll get something ready with a tether. Basically, just going to use my uh, 8R to run laps. Oh, oh, mister, I'm so sorry. Yep. Hmm. I don't know about the more the tractor and the baler. All right. Let's go. All three. So our cell point's actually right over here. But I don't know how big the trigger is. It's that last bill. It's that building right there. If the trigger's big enough, I can use course play or maybe auto drive. But I, I don't know if that's big enough or not. All right, let's go ahead and take him off auto drive. We will get him annually here so and just park our equipment here for now. And then I think I just want to put like the front and the back on the thing. Yeah, and the thing, you know, just like not run them both on there. Really dumb place to put that, John. What are you doing? Come on. Gotta have enough room to get in between them to hook up. Oh, man. That was pretty, pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. All right, so yeah, this mission's going to take me forever, and I, I know I'm not going to get it done in this video. That is for sure. Because just to mow this field, we will see. Around like five times, give myself lots of enros. Why not? Hmm. This is going to be real. All right. What are we talking? What are we talking here? How long is this going to take to mow? This is going to take, survey says, two hours. Wow. Two hours to mow this. Okay. I feel like he should be going faster. There we go. 13. Okay. Still going to take, yeah, two hours. Okay. So that's pretty, uh, that's pretty healthy. You know, <laughs> that is pretty darn healthy. Uh, but that is okay, I guess. I guess. <laughs> All right, back to the shop. Take him off of here, and we'll change him. To, uh, let's see. We probably would want West. West. Zoom out. Oh, we're pushing hard. Why are we, like, not going any faster? There's a car in front of us. All right, what are we grabbing? Everything's going to need its own trip, so it really doesn't matter what we get because we can't start heading for a while. Yeah, that is okay. We could break out the old tractor for uh, road running, but that would just be like the slowest thing of all time. I mean, with auto drive, who cares? You know, we probably should have used this one and put the old... Uh, Articulated tractor on there, but that's okay. Yeah, this this guy, this guy. You know what his his how fast does he go? Nineteen. Super slow. Super slow. I mean, I could use him over there for something. I could put a baler on him. Like actually use him in the field for the mission. I kind of want to. So yellow. Because <laughs> then that's only one more trip for the ADR to do. So. All right, auto drive. Helps if I have my mouse up. And drive on, buddy. Drive on, buddy. Now, see, I don't. Okay. He's not connected to the right one either, so he's going to go for a lap. Because if you bring this up, the edit mode, you can see what he's connected to. 
So this path goes that way, and he was connected over here before. So if we just connect him to here, he should be good to go. He should drive right through the homestead here and better patter his way down the driveway at his whopping 19, eventually, yeah, 19 miles an hour. <laughs> Nothing slow about that. All right, so I really would like to sell some corn. I would really like to get some money, but I just, I can't do it. I, I just can't. I don't know what price is going to be over here, but of course it's going to be better. I mean, we're topping out at 890. Right now we're in the 530 range probably. So like that's, I just, I can't, I can't sell it right now, you know? So there is that unfortunately. All right. So buddy is just pitter pattern here with these mowers. Just pitter patter and holy cow. That's good. I wouldn't mind, you know what? We got a second set of these mowers. Cause we do have a little cash lane around still, you know? Like there's a lot of equipment up there. So, oh, there's a weight. Okay. Okay. I was like, what is going on there? Um, if we got a second set of mowers, let's go looking because something we do also have the swather here, but I don't even know how big is the head for that thing. Oh, those tires though. Oh man. Uh, let's go look at the header for that. I'm assuming it's in Moors, but I don't actually know. Download it off the mod hub. Oh, we have all kinds of Moors actually. So that's, what is that for? That's not even worth it. We do have this more here. And I don't know, I don't really know anything about this more other than it looks cool. So <laughs> that's about all I know with it. Um, I do know that it has a hitch and stuff back here too. I actually want to try this eventually, but for what we're doing right now, of course we wouldn't, uh, we wouldn't need that, you know? So. Actually, that's a $48,000 purchase. That's not bad. That wouldn't cost us a lot to get, per se. Oh, we can clack it out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> kind of cool looking, actually. Or we can yellow it. We, we can't yellow everything. Okay. That's kind of like John Deere, right? Because we can lease this for just $2,400. That's like, that's nothing. Let's just pick that up real fast and we can run that down there too and use it to help out. I mean, I know it's kind of weird running two different size mowers. Cause what are we running? That is eight, four and this one's seven, three. So it's actually smaller. Probably should have gone the other way, but that's okay. I'm temp. I was tempted to get like a fleet of the spot. <laughs> A fleet of them, I'm telling you. Okay, so here comes the uh, JD. Actually, where's the other JD? Is it up there yet? Almost. All right, let's take him off auto drive, and we'll go ahead and select where he's gonna go next to have it done. You know, buddy, you should have your hazards on. You're on the road. Oh man. We'll say if you have them set on auto drive like this, it is just straight as an arrow. No, no, no steering required. Of course, the road is straight too, so that helps. That definitely helps. We can run that more on this tractor. <laughs> and all we will do is we'll set up another course and then just dump him over in the field quite a bit. So that he's not interfering with the other one. All we can do. That thing is kind of hideous. Kind of cool though. Hold up, hold it back up. And of course, you know, eventually we could run the hitch on here and run. See, don't I have, I think I have, what else do I have? I downloaded something else too. Is it this? It wasn't that, it was, might've been a rake. Yeah, it's this rake. This rake also has a hitch. So I guess you could run a mo the more this rake and then a baler. 
I guess, say you're making haylage bales, you could just do that. That would be kind of cool, actually. Buddy. Uh, uh, buddy. All right, thank you. All right, the other guy's probably here by now. Say so. All right, let's uh, go ahead and change his course play or not course. Auto drive as well. We're gonna put this up by the whatever else I brought down before. Field twelve is done. A little fertilizing contract money coming in. That's good. Once we go accept that, that is fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. I really do like the way they put like stuff outside the map. I don't know if I can drive there, but like, I kind of like that. I've seen that on a couple of the newer maps or that I've been kind of looking at. Or not really been looking at, but I've seen that on other maps too, you know, and it, it's kind of nice. Oh, I brought the bailer over. That's what it was. It's kind of nice to see that though, you know? Actually, we could run that rake in the bailer after we get it, Tad. We can do that. We'll see. We might. I'm, I don't know because that's more money I have to put into the mission, you know? In fairness, it's $28,000. And I actually wouldn't mind setting up like a uh, little bailing operation of my own because you can make a lot of money doing that, you know? That, that would actually be pretty sweet, wouldn't it? Put the bailer right on the back of there and just get it. That could be kind of cool. Only 30 grand. We can pay that back, like, we'll lease it. Because technically, we don't own. We don't really own any, like, hay grounds. You know, there's. There's, there's hay around. You just don't own it, you know? Like, honestly, field seven and one, like, it could be all hay. I would not be opposed to that at all. Okay, uh, sprayer's done. Sprayer, 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 where are you? First play, go away. Go ahead and get rid of that. Bring up auto drive and we'll tell him to go home. Take it to the house, kid. Right, right there. We could have just drove it there. Yeah, let's just drive it. <laughs> we actually need to get it ready. Not really, but make the course for uh, our field three again. Not that it's going to be ready for a while, because that does take a few minutes to, uh, it takes a while to seed that field, even with that giant planter that we have. It, it takes, definitely takes a few minutes, you know, so that is, uh, that is peachy. That is peachy for sure, for sure. Oh, and by the way, the pool, like, has a cover on it. And it actually, like, yeah. In the winter and fall and stuff, it actually like the cover goes on it. Pretty cool. Oh, I have been talking about showing you guys something up in these woods uh, for a while. Let's go. Let's go exploring. I was exploring up here when I first like was driving around on the map, and I just kind of went like, okay, kind of went driving around through here, and I was like, I wonder what's up here. I need to see it, you know. I wanted to see the whole map, like it's kind of sketchy little bridge. And you come in here and you're just like, oh, it's like for chickens and stuff. Like no big deal. There's kind of like some headstones too. It's kind of weird. Then you come here and you're like a little 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 tank, you know, and a bale or two. Like, like right. That actually scared me the first time I saw it. I literally jumped. I legitimately jumped. <laughs> the first time I saw that. <laughs> I just didn't know what it was. And it actually scared me. I like, I seriously did. Like, I kind of jumped and it like, it like. It actually scared me. Like, it's pretty terrifying looking, right? Of course, that's the millennial farmer, you know, but <laughs> <it's kind of> <laughs> <freaky>. <laughs> and I just happened to find it like out here in the woods, you know, 
And actually, the screen when you fast time is kind of weird, too. It's another... That one's kind of kind of strange as well. All right. I don't think there's anything else out here. That, not that I'm aware of, anyway. But I just... Been wanting to show that to you guys for a while. And, like, it's kind of... It's kind of freaky, you know? It really... It's like I said, I actually... <laughs> the first time I saw that, I legitimately was like... <gasps> And I jumped like it took me a minute, like my heart to calm down. Like, <laughs> it legitimately scared me. Uh, might be a wussy guys. I don't know. You tell me. Okay. All right. So we do have the other rake down there too. Cause if this doesn't work out, we'll just use the regular rake. You know, that's not a, not a problem. Oh yeah. Look at us. We can rake and pick up the same time. <laughs> Oh man. Yeah. It, it, hmm? Yeah. Like. I wanna. I wanna. There we go. You wanna see it like unfold and stuff? I have not messed with this rake at all. I just downloaded it from the mod hub. It's not bad. That'd make a decent bail. Ah. No, I don't have access. Buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, drive on, buddy. Drive on down the highway. Oh, I guess he doesn't. Uh, traffic stops for me. <laughs> Apparently. How long does he have to see that? 44 minutes. That's not terrible. Problem is, uh, well, okay, he's okay. I guess he just started on his back and forth passes. You know, you got, it, this field's got a little bit of an odd shape to it. So sometimes getting course play run is kind of not interesting. It's just. It's a little slow getting going because you're doing little point rows, you know. Once you get on the big rows, it seems like the field actually goes faster. Because less turning around. And this is a good looking rig together, by the way. There's something about the uh the two track I really like with with the cedar. That's I use this tractor for cedar and auger wagon. That's pretty much uh Actually I think I called to, yeah, I cultivated with it last time too. I did this this field this tractor's done all the work this this go around. Which is fine. Oh, hey, we're to the field. That's good. We can stop auto drive. Okay, so if I recall correctly, let's just make sure this more is going to like do its thing. You know? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, so he's still doing his outside rounds, but which way is he going? Like, which side of the field is he going to work on first? Because I don't recall. Probably shouldn't bring this up. Okay, so he is going to work from the east to the west. Okay. Right? That's, that's fine. East to the west. So if we come on here and we make a course for this guy, because they're different widths, I don't want to run them on the same course because it wouldn't make sense. This one's actually smaller. If this one was actually just a little bit bigger, I would totally run it on the same course to have it overlap. That wouldn't bother me. But because our size is different, just a little bit, we can't do that. So what we will do is generate a course for field 10. And we'll say five times around because remember this one's smaller, so it'll overlap, which is fine. Because we did five times on the other one. And now this is perfect actually, because he's going to work from west to east. So they'll just go meet in the middle somewhere. And this is actually going to work out. So what we will do. So he's got to go around the field one more time. Because that's only his fourth time around the field. Actually, this guy could. I could set him to go. Wait, no. That's only his third time out of five. Okay. I probably could just start buddy like. Right here. Let's just start you right here, buddy. Uh, what setting you're on now? Um, hello? I want you to. Why will you not? Go ahead. So, an interesting thing about having auto drive and course play that I have noticed is if you bring up the mouse with your scroll wheel, which is the auto drive button for the mouse, you cannot control course play. Okay. So if I close the mouse there and I bring it up with auto drive, I can't 
but if I right click now I can. So it's kind of interesting. Why are we not mowing, buddy? But buddy, what are we doing? Well, you know what? He's probably on his last like open reset pass. That's probably what this is. That's fine. We'll stay with him for just a second. He should go north, turn to our right, and come back down the field. Is what I'm thinking. I could be wrong, but I think that's what he's doing. I should turn all these lines off. I know they're kind of annoying. I kind of like seeing them personally, but they're kind of annoying too. So I get it. Trust me. Trust me. I get it. All right. So then we can head the field with the ADAR. And the, or I don't know. We'll head the field with something. That's going to be a while before we start that process. And then probably get the tether completely done before I start raking and bailing this. I mean, it's going to be a process. It's going to take me a lot of hours to get this done, but that's okay. Yeah, because he says an hour 46, which of course he's not doing the outside rounds because I already jumped past that. So hopefully we'll get done mowing in about an hour or maybe a little less, you know? Okay, see, now Buddy's going to try to mow here. Where's he actually going, though? And just as I thought, he was going to turn around and go back. This may not be the right tractor job. <laughs> just throwing that out there. Um, we'll have to see how he turns stuff, you know? Because he may, just may not be the right tractor for the job. Did I have more equipment up there? I can't remember. There is a weight and the tether. The tether. Yeah, we need the tether. Okay, so now we can go back to the shop here in a second. Of course, I won't run the rake and the bail stacker <laughs> together. That will not happen, okay? Don't worry. The convenient way to move around, like multiple pieces of equipment, though. Very convenient. All right. Dump that one there. We'll dump this one here. And sell. Auto drive to have fun. Putting all the miles. We're burning the tracks off of this bad boy, you know? That's all right. Okay, so I want to watch. I want to watch the. <laughs> what is this tractor? 8960? Yeah, I want to watch the 8960 turn around here. Now, granted, the other mower is actually coming around again to finish up end rows because that's. Actually, I think he's got two more end rows to do yet. I think I put him on five, so. He's got a few end rows to do. And really, the only reason I did so many end rows is if I wanted to, I could start heading before, you know? Okay, so the other more should be mowing all of this as end row. Is what I'm thinking. And Buddy actually is going to be turning. I mean, he's bullying the thing around the corner, but looks like it's actually going to work. And our width is good as well. I want to check that. I know this tractor's overkill for <laughs> what I'm doing, and it looks ridiculous. That might have to be. That just might have to be, guys. A thumbnail. Because <laughs> that is so ridiculous. <laughs> of course, it, you know, when I, when I do haylage bales on this map, because I do plan on doing some haylage bales, because it's worth a lot of money. The plan is to have. A tractor, this mower, the rake, and the baler all in a line. And of course, I'll use the, the, the um, what baler is that? I always forget the brand name on that one. And you would think I would know it because everybody asks me about it all the time. The Kverthlin. Yeah. The auto wrapping one. Of course, we will use that. Because why wouldn't we? You know, it's just. Actually, the Kloss one does it too. Kind of. The Kloss one does it, but you have to unload it. The Gavirlin one is the smart bailer that you don't have to, like, stop for, which is by far, by far, the best part ever. <laughs> so, looks like Buddy's going to actually work out here. The old, uh, 89. Oh, uh, I hope you guys find this as amusing as I do, because this is, this is cracking me up, actually, to see a brush hog or a bat wing more. Basically, on the back of this tractor. Now it's all good until you get right when he starts articulating back the other way, and then he's bullying it. Yeah, he's like sliding it sideways a little bit. But buddy's 
what he's doing man his turns are actually pretty snappy too like they're pretty fast like we're getting it done you know what does this guy have on the outside rounds i can't tell that right where we're at so one two three this is four he's going over one more so as long as these two uh don't hit on the end rows we should be good so he's going one more to the right which means he'll get that little skipper there and uh, should be good there. He's got an hour and 36 minutes left. Holy cow. It's actually not bad, you know? <laughs> it's really not. But he's just... <laughs> I don't know why, but that... That uh, 89 and 60, I just... Uh, it just cracks me up, okay? Oh, man. Did our, our, did our make it back up here yet? Here we go. Just about. We'll go ahead and drive him in. Get all of our equipment down there that we need for the mission, and then uh, I'll probably let you guys skadoodle for the day. Uh, this video is coming out Saturday morning, obviously, before stream, and I will be streaming Farm Sim today at noon. This video is going to come out hopefully at like 10. I think I'm going to change the time of this series to 10. That way, it gives you all time to watch this before I go live, you know, at noon on Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays. I go live at noon all three of those days. And uh, that's when this series is going to be coming out for a little while anyway. Probably for the rest of the series. We'll see. Things are always subject to change, you know? Nothing is set in stone, let's be honest, you know? Oh, man, I don't need that front weight for that little vent tractor. That's fine. I don't need it. This is kind of ridiculous looking behind this tractor as well, but that's okay. Especially that three-part of the PTO. Yep, made for a European tractor or European hitch setup, but those tractors not. So there's that. All right, back to field 10 we go. Okay. And just, okay, seating is going quite well. Actually, that cedar, it, the cedar doesn't even miss anything. Like, it just pitter patters and gets it all. Like, it's great. It's a great, it's, it's a great seating rig I have going over there. Because, of course, that tractor can turn on a dime. And I don't know if that helps or not. Okay, so we're on our last outside round here with this tractor. Turn these lines off again because, yeah, they get kind of annoying. I just want to make sure that it doesn't hit the other tractor on the last outside round here. And then uh, we'll just let these two uh, pitter-patter. You guys probably... I don't know. You guys probably will see some more of this mission. Maybe like, maybe towards the end of this mission, I'll I'll bring this this back because I got to record this what Monday. Yeah, usually I don't have a lot of time over the weekends to play this. That's why I quit recording this on Sunday nights because it was just it was killing me. <laughs> you know, by the time I come home from the farm and stuff, I'm so tired. So we'll just make sure that this guy gets done. I'll get all the mowing done uh, today. So, like, as soon as I'm done recording this video, just let it run, get the mowing done. And then probably do the tedding because that's real boring. And then maybe, like, the raking bailing, we'll uh, we'll come back for that on uh, Tuesday's video. That's what I'm kind of thinking. And then I guess we fast time through winter. I don't really need to do anything through winter. As far as I'm concerned, just fast time away. Need to get, isn't there a fast time mod out there? Like a 5,000 times fast time mod? If so, let me know. Where can I find it? Because I need it. Um, I feel like that's a mod hub thing, but I don't know. Um, and then hopefully come back to either corn harvest again or get to sell corn. I don't know which one's going to be first. If we get to sell it, cool. If we get, I, Honestly, I'd like to harvest first and then be able to sell it all. It's like we have, we have, uh, we have quite a bit of corn, so that would be, that would be an ideal, um, that would be an ideal situation there, you know, okay, go ahead and set that mission from earlier, and I could do, I could go do cultivating missions, I can't fertilize seven like I talked about in the previous video, horse play does not like field seven, um, but I could do, I could do, there's some more bailing missions to do. Field two. First field two. Field two, field two. Ooh, right by the homestead here. That's a good size field two. But see, the problem with that is you're gonna have to haul them, most likely, right? Field two. Yeah. 
You're going to have to haul them all the way over here. That's why I went with field 10. Like, nice, good shape, you know, where we have her. I thought we were going to have a collision. Not really. A little blip in the traffic, and we're good to go. All right, so as long as this tractor gets through on the north end of the field, then we're good. This is not good, though. They're both taking off at the same time, and they're both the same speed. This might be a problem. <laughs> You want to race John Deere? This is like brand new tractor. Tractor from what, the 80s, 90s? When did the uh, 8960, I wonder what years those were made. I'll look that up. Because I am, I don't know. There's something about the look of that 8960 I just love. Absolutely love the look of that thing. Holy cow. All right, so it is, uh, it's 346 right now for me on Friday afternoon. And there's more sirens going by, not necessarily on the main road, but like somewhere up, up that way. And it's like the 18th time I've heard sirens today. I don't know what's going on in this town today, but man. And I don't have that ear cup on, on my headphones to hear on the scanner what's going on. <laughs> and so, plus usually when I turn or record these videos, I turn the scanner down pretty far. It's like, man, this is like seriously the, like... Multiple, multiple, multiple rounds of uh, sirens today. It's kind of crazy. Kind of insane. All right, I just want to watch this north edge and then kind of a good, like, track the race we got going on here. I mean, they go the same speed, so. That guy's going to hopefully get out of our way because he turns around pretty efficiently, honestly. Lifts the more and away he goes. Oh, nope, nope, not going to get out of our way. Oh, just a little little nudge, okay. Broke a wheel. And definitely broke the mower on the on the fence here. That's okay. We're good. Alright, so he's gonna work on the east or the west side. I'm going over to the east side and they'll meet somewhere in the middle and I'll stop one of them, let the other one finish it up, and uh we'll come back when we're bailing this field on Tuesday. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Don't forget about the stream all day Saturday, farming all day farming all day i'm sure we'll talk a lot more about uh, 22 as well uh yeah twitch.tv slash poopal links in the description as always and i'll uh, catch you guys later have a great rest of your day and as always uh, toodles